as black men, we don't like to vent. That's my like next topic. Like when it comes to not talking to each other about how we feel. Like when we when we stressed out or like when we just like feeling down. Of course, I had that voice in my head. Like, I what did you come here to do? Like, go ahead, make make your moves. But at the same time, you know, being a human being, we get so down. I, eventually, I learned how to talk to people and and trust people. Like where where I was like, hey, I'm down. I need somebody to talk to, or I think I just need a break from something and all that. But like as as human beings and as as men, like. When, when did the venting and the therapy and the focus on like mental health, especially the therapy part, I don't know if y'all go to therapy, I, I do, but I, if y'all do, like, when did that start for y'all, like, actually focusing on your mental health when it comes to therapy and talking about your feelings as a man and you being hurt and you being sad, when, when did that come into effect for y'all in the wood age? Oh, man. For, for me, I, I would have to say it probably was Definitely early on because I, being a kid of the 70s, I actually have friends that I'm close to that I can talk to them in confidence and nothing gets out. I know we don't really have that that much nowadays, but like I said, I got some close friends, um, you know, some 40, 45 years and stuff that, you know, we we get together. Actually, I, I got some coming over on, on Sunday. We're getting together and we just sit there and talk about, talk about the wives, the girlfriends, the job, the career, uh, the bills and everything. We, we get it all out. But my first time actually going to therapy probably was shortly after my dad died. My mom I lost mm-hmm. her first. The dad died seven months behind mm-hmm. her. And I was just like in a real dark space. And I didn't want to. Re- I didn't want to revert to old ways because in my younger days I handled everything with these. You know, I wasn't a talk. I was with these, and being you know, fifty, I can't. I, I had to talk to somebody. I can't. I, I got too much to lose to be violence, and, and violence never solved anything. So, you know, I went, I went and sat with a therapist, and they opened my. They open my eyes to a lot. Just having somebody to sit there that doesn't know you, that's not there to judge you mm-hmm. or give you an opinion or anything like that, that that helped out a lot. And I can actually say that was probably a small uh, or part of the catalyst that got me out of that corporate environment and everything. Like, just maybe, like, like, like Jarrell said, you know, take it as you want, but this is the life that you're in right now, so you might as well make it the best, so... Therapy definitely helped me with that, and like I said, I'm definitely blessed to have a real close circle that if something goes on, I can honestly go to them with it and not have to worry about things going back and forth or anything like that. And that's, yeah, that's, that's it for me. I mean, yeah, just being able to open up and get that off your chest. And like I said, you know, even me and Jarrell, you know, the way we bounce you know, topics and stuff off one another and stuff that that's there, you know. And he's definitely helped me through some things, you know. You know, that's probably why I'm still in the relationship because, you know, he threw the cape on and like, let me go ahead and say this boy, because he ain't about to go ahead and jump off the ledge by his damn self. So yeah. <laughs> hey, that's 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 it. <laughs> that's good, man. I appreciate that too. I appreciate you for sharing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I would say so, okay. So for me, uh, it was probably, so, so, so when I, I hit a wall, like, ooh, I don't know, maybe might might have been almost like eight years ago, something like that. So there was a time when, like, so my, my dad died when I was like, in like 99, right? Uh, but me and him wasn't close. Like, I, I, I ain't, I ain't fooled with him. He was around, like, I knew the nigga, you know what I'm saying? But it was, uh, and I mean, <laughs> like, ah, right? <laughs> but I didn't realize that, like, it, well, in in growing up in the hood, you convince yourself that you don't care, right? And it, and it's, it was more than that because I think I like 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 I lost my one of my close friends when I was like um like like fifteen too. Like I one of my eyes like it, you, I, I dealt with a lot of loss at a young age. And again, it, growing up in the hood, you taught to be unaffected. You better not let that show, boy. You, they they gonna take advantage of you. Soft son, what's up? Like you had I had to have that 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 hard armor, right? But I didn't know. 
And then, like, you know, probably like 10 years later almost, right? I'm meeting family. I mean, meeting family that that that, that, that my pop made, you know what I mean? Kids that he made. I'm like, oh, shit, I got, I got, I got sisters. What are you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what? I grew up with y'all. I grew up with, I grew up with, with me and my mom. I'm like, who, who are these people? <laughs> like, right? You start to, and it, now it's starting to mess with me, right? And I was, I was, I was, I was, have, I was trying to figure, figure it all out. And, and there, there, there was a close friend of mine and a, and a mentor, may he rest in peace, Jeff Mayo. One of the biggest moments in my life because I was, I was actually at work mentally going through it, and he had, um, and he had pulled me aside, and we, and, and this is when I started to be in tune with mental health, and because, because he had kind of told me about the power of forgiveness. He was like, well, yeah, and, and, and that you can't control grief. Like I was sitting there burying my grieving process for almost a decade. Right. And trying to figure out why I couldn't face this, because my theory was, oh, I don't care about that man. So I ain't grieving. Him. And wrong. Nah, it works. OK, you don't get to be like, oh, I ain't grieving. So I'm not. No, you yeah, all right, but, bro, your, your mental health don't care about what you say it is. No, you have to you have to really kind of do the work um, in, 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 in figure out what those issues are. And that's when I started to take a look inside of me. Mm. 